Hey, what's up, NLC Live? My name is Caleb Pegley, and I'm associate pastor at our New Life Church Russellville location. Uh, I know this is the internet, so maybe you're checking in from a foreign country. If you're from Israel, I'd like to say shalom. Maybe you're from Africa, I'd like to say habadi. If you're from Latin America or South America or Spain, then I would say, hola, como estas? Australia, then I would say, hello, mate. Perhaps you're from uh, England, I would say, hello, love. All right, now that we've spent uh, two minutes on greetings, then we can talk about the serious stuff, which is the scriptures. Uh, today, I am going to be reading. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. But anyways, uh, I'm going to be reading from 1 Peter 5, 6, and 7. And I actually love this scripture uh, because it helped my wife and I through a difficult season of our lives. I'm reading out of the NIV, which is the New International Version. It says, humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. I believe that Peter's talking about a scripture, about a promise from God and the scriptures. And, and that's what he's referring to when he talks about humbling yourselves, that oftentimes things happen uh, in God's timing and on our own. And, you know, maybe some of us have desires in our heart, like, you know, getting married or having a family or getting promoted in our job or an opportunity to really make a difference uh, in the world. And just because it's not happening right now doesn't mean that it's not part of God's plan for our lives. But oftentimes we have to wait for the right season. And while you may think that you're in the right season, it's kind of like what I tell uh, my ninth graders who come to me uh, very upset because they want to be married. And I just kind of go through a little checklist with them. You know, I ask them, do you have a job? And they usually say, no. Do you have a checking account? Uh, no. Can you drive? Maybe. Uh, I have a permit with a, with a parent. Okay, cool. Uh, do you still have your braces on? Yes. So maybe it's just not the right season for you to have a wife. Now, I know God won't treat us that way, but sometimes that God's got a process and he's working in and through us uh, to prepare us for that specific promise. And my wife and I, we were five, we were married for five years. And for many years, we actually wanted to have children and we struggled with that. And so it was difficult. But looking back now that we have almost a two-year-old daughter, I'm so thankful for that time with my wife. And I'm really thankful for all that God was able to do in and through us as a couple uh, and individually throughout that season. And so some of the things that we did uh, to kind of keep ourselves from maybe comparing with others or just struggling with the, with some discouragement in our lives is one of the first things that we did is we just spoke encouragement and we relied and reflected constantly on the truth. Scriptures like this, there's other scriptures in Psalms 37, it says, trust in the Lord. Uh, he will give you the desires of your heart. Just different scriptures like that that we would put on our mirror or constantly be texting each other about throughout our day, especially in moments where we were really dis discouraged about our lives and what we were really hoping that God would do. Something else that we struggled with, but we really made an effort to do was celebrate others. You know, throughout those five years, there were many other people, close friends of ours in our lives that were getting pregnant and seeing promises come true. And it can be really hard uh, and even prideful at times when you don't want to celebrate that because you're kind of thinking, okay, God, you know, when is it my turn? But we really recognize that that was really a heart condition and that was a place of pride. And so just like the scripture says about humbling yourself, uh, you know, we started to really practice celebrating when God was doing and when promises were being made from God in other people's lives. Uh, and then the third thing is through our prayers. Oftentimes when we pray to God, we're asking him for things. And my wife and I, we really wanted to reflect a heart of thankfulness. And like the Bible says, to be cheerfully expectant and have a thankful heart. And so we started when we would pray is we would kind of utilize our faith and begin to thank God for the promise. Maybe it hadn't yet occurred in our lives that we knew God that was working in us. And so oftentimes when we prayed, uh, we prayed from more of a thankful posture and a thankful heart than coming from more of a needy side of just asking God, uh, when is this going to happen? Instead of being like that, which God wants you to be vulnerable, uh, but 
you know, praying to God, hey, God, we're thankful that this is coming to pass. We know that you're working, that you love us, that you haven't forgotten us. God, help us to be humble. Help us to take this anxiety that's resting on our heart and cast it onto you. And God, we declare and we're thankful through our faith that this promise is going to come to pass in our lives. And we thank you for it. And so I'm going to go ahead and pray. Uh, and I hope this encouraged you today. Father, I thank you so much for who you are. God, I'm so thankful for all the things that you've done in my life. And Father, I even want to be thankful for every area and every aspect that you've come through, God. I know that you put desires in each and every one of our hearts, God, and you don't do that to torture us or, or, or anything like that, God, but you do that because you're working in and through us. And God, you place those desires there and that we trust in you. But we know those will, will come to pass in our lives. So Father, I pray whoever's listening, uh, whether they're struggling with insecurity or they they're feel like they're stuck in their lives with their career making a difference or, or God, maybe they haven't yet had a spouse or even had the opportunity to create a family. God, I know that you put place those desires there because you're going to fulfill them. God, I pray that as we're in this season of waiting and this season of being patient, God, that we would remain thankful. We'd remain cheerfully expectant for what you're going to do. And God, we just declare today through our faith that it is already done. God, can help us to be humble in our moments, help us to celebrate others and help us to be thankful in this season of life. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.